Some explaining to do. No time. Must go bed like good cave kid. Wait for Santa bring presents. Whoa. Haven't you opened all of Santa's presents already? Me sorry. Booked are not been good. Not been good? Books are been bad. Yes, you know, Angel either. Uktar promised me good cave boy for the rest of life. Cross Uktar heart. And cross Uktar's fingers, too. How Santa know? Santa was a Bambino uh, boy once himself, Uktar. Step on it, Yoshi! Oh, no can do! Yoshi no got wings! Right, wings! Hold on, little buddy! When I get my claws on Santa, I'll turn huh? him in the Christmas pudding! Quick, Yoshi, or we may never get out of here! All right, into bed, Uktar, before Yoshi loses his wings. We still have presents to deliver all over Dome City. Me no Uktar bad, cause Santa big trouble. No dessert present. But Uktar thankful Santa saved me from dinosaur. That present enough. Why, Uktar, this isn't like you. Of course, if Santa won't leave Uktar present, Uktar be very happy. Present for Mario. Uktar, play Santa. Uktar! Merry Cave Christmas, Mario, dude! Wouldn't it be nice if every day were Christmas? And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. Our cousin opens as Larry, having just finished his morning bath, is searching for his hairbrush. Having no success, Larry cries out, Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where is my hairbrush? Oh, where, 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 oh,
wondering, Bobby Tomato enters the scene. Shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of Larry in the towel, Bob regains his composure and confesses, Larry, that old hairbrush of yours, well, you never use it, you don't really need it, so, well, I'm sorry, I didn't know, but I gave it to the peach, cause he's got hair. Feeling a deep sense of loss, Larry stumbles back in the bed. Not fair. Oh, my hairbrush. Not fair. My poor hairbrush. Not fair, not fair, no hair, not fair, no hair, no hair, not fair, not fair, not fair. My little hairbrush. Having heard his lament, the beach enters the scene. Himself in the towel, both Larry and the beach are shocked and slightly embarrassed at the sight of each other. But recognizing Larry's generosity, the beach is thankful. Thanks for that hairbrush. Yes, good has been done here. The beach exits the scene. Larry smiles, but still feeling an emotional attachment for the hairbrush, calls out, Take care of my hairbrush. Take care of my hairbrush. Take care, take care, don't dare not care, take care, not care, no care, take care, take care of my hairbrush. The end. Now, now that Bertram explained everything, it's all starting to come back to me. Yeah, me too. But I still feel like we're forgetting something. Mm. And there it is. <laughs> Guys, I just found the weirdest thing. Mm. Yeah, second weirdest. <laughs> Suddenly, Zuri and Teddy being wanted for reindeer napping makes perfect sense. What, so you two stole the reindeer? Huh, there's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I don't remember stealing a reindeer. But it sounds like something someone from Denver would do. Zuri, that's enough. But we don't do that. Maybe a little innocent reindeer tipping now and then, but... <laughs> it says Prancer was supposed to be a part of the charity concert in the park today. You mean that deer can sing? Oh, you two are going away for life. <laughs> It's a Christmas miracle. Oh, oh, look at that sad little pen. Oh, now I remember why we took him. Yeah, yeah, me too. After we couldn't find you and Bertrand last night, we saw Prancer locked up in that prison, so I decided to take him home. And you went along with that? I had a tough choice to make. Either face an angry, snorting beast or the reindeer. Prancer, <laughs> thank goodness. Where was he? Uh, weirdest thing. We found him in the stud building. <laughs> Wait a minute. You two stole Prancer. I'm calling the cops. Okay, okay, we did it. But you wouldn't send three sweet young girls to jail, would you? Yeah, and that's three. I'm innocent. <laughs> and they're really sorry. <laughs> sorry you won't raise money for the kids or put toys in their donation bins. But you've got Prancer back now, and you're still having the charity concert, right? Wrong! After Prancer went missing, our singer, Joey Fatone, helped search for him. He was out there all night calling Prancer's name, and by this morning, he lost his voice. And his watch. He was mugged. <laughs> wow. Way to bring down the room. <laughs> you can still call the cops. Dial back. that has the reindeer back, but they don't have a singer. Zuri, I am so disappointed in you. I can't believe you stole a reindeer without me. That was on my bucket list. As long as I'm not on it. I can't believe we came so close to meeting the Joey Fatone. Guys, the point is, this event was going to help a lot of kids have a happy Christmas, and now that's not going to happen. And it's all our fault. I feel terrible. We were so upset when we could not find our presents. Imagine how these kids will feel when they do not get any. There's got to be something we can do. Wait, I just got the greatest idea. You can sing at the charity concert, which will attract a huge crowd of toy givers, thereby saving the day. 
A actually, I was going to say we do an emergency bake sale, but I like your idea way better. <laughs>
Excuse me, sir. Is this going to be enough to get us to Times Square? <laughs> well, I guess that wasn't enough. Oh, I feel bad we couldn't tip him. He's got our bags in the trunk. <gasps> Good. Feel better now. Oh, hey, I see the ball. We must be close. Oh, Cherry, how far are we from Times Square? 1,283 miles. Not Tim Square Pizza. Cherry, you're useless. <gasps> Searching anger management. <laughs> Ouch. Probably should go get that. Come on, guys, let's just make a run for it. We can do this. Jesse, can we please go see Austin Moon perform tonight? Sorry, Emma, the answer is still no. Times Square is filled with all sorts of crazy, rowdy people on New Year's. It's no place for a 14-year-old. Ryan Seacrest is hosting the New Year's Eve telecast. You might get a chance to meet him. If anyone asks, you're 15. Let's go! Sorry, we're at capacity. But he's Austin Moon. Yeah, he's performing in 18 minutes and 23 seconds. Well, if he's performing, I suppose I could just let him throw. Really? No. No one else is getting thrown. Come on, there's got to be another way. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shut up. Are you? Yes, I'm Austin Moon, but I'm not going to sing your dance to prove it. <laughs> She's a big fan. I can no longer hear. I'm Jesse. This is Emma. Uh, this is Ali, Trish, and Des. Hey! So, what are you doing down here? Aren't you supposed to be performing up there? Yeah, but that cop will let us through, and there's no other way for me to get up there. Oh, Austin. When you know rich people, there's always another way. I never thought I'd be flying above New York City in a helicopter on New Year's Eve. I never thought I'd throw up in a helicopter. But on a magical night like tonight, anything's possible. <laughs> this is amazing. And the best part is, you guys are here with me. I'm so glad you feel that way. Because I am never leaving your side. <laughs> Jesse, you rock. You have your own helicopter and you know how to fly it. Oh, I don't know how to fly it. What? Dang. My boss would never lend me his helicopter if I didn't know how to fly it. It's Jimmy! Trish, what's going on? Where's Austin? He goes on in one minute. One minute? He'll be there, Jimmy. We're just about to land a helicopter. You're in a helicopter? Don't worry. It's being flown by a teenage nanny. Gotta go. Hey, who's the building? Get ready, Austin. Tag your seatbelts, everybody. We're going down. Ali, is this really happening? Believe it, Austin. It's real. Just like zebras. Rescatar a Simba fue fácil. Después vino la parte realmente tenebrosa. Paternidad. ¡Timón! 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 ¡Tengo que ir! ¿Tú entiendes? ¡Ir! ¡Me urge! ¡No voy a ir! ¿Por qué no dijiste eso? ¡Vamos, corre! Cuando hay que ir, hay que ir. ¡León malcriado! ¡Baja de ahí! ¡Uh! ¡Me gusta! ¡Oigan! ¡Desde aquí se ven como hormigas! ¡Voy a contar hasta tres! ¡Ya! ¡Uno! ¡Dos! ¡Tres! 
¡Ay, ay, ay! ¡Tienes que ir! No, pero tengo sed. Sabes que esto te va a despertar en dos horas. Voy a envejecer cruzando esta cosa. ¿Timón? ¿Qué tienes en contra del concepto de tener un buen sueño, eh? Es que yo uh, tuve una pesadilla. Oh, entonces... Yo no fui. Junior tuvo pesadillas. No. ¿Por qué no duermes aquí con nosotros? Mi pumba es su pumba. ¡Claro que sí! Buenas noches. Duerme bien. Que aparezcan pulgas en tus sueños. <risa> for the pilot stepping out for popcorn during the in-flight movie. For the owner of the gray 747, parked outside the window, please report to the cockpit. Your lights are on. Hi! It's so bright out and I'm wide awake. What time is it? 8.54 in the morning. I'm still on New York time. I better change my watch. There. Now I'm caught up. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh. Davis, wake up. Davis, Davis. Davis, Davis. Davis, Davis. <laughs> Yeah, until I heard all that screaming. The next time I tell you to wake me up, try to be a little quieter so I can get some sleep. I turn my back on him for one minute and he disappears. Upamon, where are you? Hmm? Upamon? Huh? Cody! How many times do I have to tell you not to wander around the house? Mom might think you're a rodent. Guess what? I think your mom is making us some candy over there. Candy? It's not candy, it's sushi. Does it taste like candy? Not really. It's seaweed and raw fish. Yucky! That was my first reaction, too. I've made a nice little bed for you, Gothamon. You think I'm getting in there? Think again. Oh, come on. Be a sport. <laughs> It'll be fun. I'm leaving now. I'll be back later. Oops, one more thing. Panamon! Here. Sorry, I forgot. Okay, Mom, I think I'm packed. Besides the usual, I'm also taking potato salad, macaroni salad, tuna salad, chicken salad, fruit salad, and three bean salad. Actually, it's only two bean salad today. I was out of the third bean. That's an awful lot of food for one girl to have for lunch. I told you I'm having a picnic with the computer club today. So, I offered to bring salad for everyone. And who's paying for it? Yeah, I need to talk to you about that. Talk to you later. Yo, Lee, wait. Yo, Lee, hurry up, open up. This is an emergency. What's the matter, Poromon? Sitting on this cool sauce getting a little messy. And what's in here that has such a foul smell? Devil 
smell the eggs. Hey, you! Parmon's right. I can smell them from all the way over here. I guess the mayonnaise has gone bad. Aren't the others supposed to be here? Yeah, they're late. Here they come now. Hey, what took you guys so long? I stopped at a drinking fountain to give Parmon a bath. It's a long story. Never mind. Let's go. in his club. I've never seen him like that. Get the big lug up right. Even he needs to blow off some steam. <laughs> Not okay? Ah! He's weird. Yeah. Oh no. Not them. Ah, hey lady. What's going down? Throwing a rager and not telling us is what's going down. I don't get it, Claire. I thought we were your BFFs. This little thing, this isn't a party. Claire, are those... College kids! Let us in! We can't hang with upperclassmen! No, I can't. I'm not opening this door. Ah! No! Ah! Don't come on! Uh, fine! I'll find another way in. Wait, Mary! <coughs> are you crazy? You should have invited us. No, no! Stop! Get off my house! <coughs> <coughs> Every guy with me socks. We're almost out of snacks. Mary and Darcy are here. Do you realize how busted we are? Mary's gonna tell everyone. Right! This party's blowing up! No, she's got 30,000 dumb followers online. One pick of this, and we're talking news vans, black helicopters, you on a dissection table. Ugh. That's right. Ugh. Just fix it! Shut it down! Arg! Not helping! I'm sorry.
Fausta, apuesto a que nadé 200 kilómetros hoy Pero me siento bien Chicos, el baile falso funcionó Miren, mis padres están felices Y ahora lo único que tengo que hacer es llegar a tiempo cuando el consejo escolar anuncie a los reyes del baile ¿Hola? B, el consejo anunciará a los reyes del baile uh, Esto está encendido De acuerdo, ahí voy Mi corona espera ¿Cómo estoy? Oh. Perfecto ¿Será cerrada por limpieza? Oh, ¡Esto no puede pasarme! ¡Está bien, está bien! Pues tendré que tomar el camino agradable para llegar ¡Aguárdenme todos! ¡Ya voy! ¡Quiero ser reina! ¡Es un honor! El consejo escolar quiere felicitar al rey del baile del consejo escolar Bo Gregorio y ahora la reina del baile del consejo escolar es... B. Pez Dorado Beats. Esperen, ¿dónde está B? ¡Hola! Lo siento, llego un poco tarde. ¡Wow! Ni yo me lo esperaba. Oigan, tengo que agradecerle a muchos peces. Uh, B, ¿qué te pasó? ¿Por qué lo dice? Ah, uh, nena... Ah, el consejo escolar tiene que considerar otra votación Sí Espera, puedo explicarlo ah. Lo siento, Vi Descubrieron que era un hogar de ancianos cuando el reloj dio las 7 No, yo tengo que disculparme Quiero que sepan que me divertí con ustedes en el baile falso Y eso no es falso Oh, nuestra diversión tampoco fue falsa, cariño ¡Sí! ¡Fue una noche divertida! ¡Además, gané al bingo! Ganes o pierdas, tú siempre serás nuestra pequeña reina, Bill ¡Oh, son los mejores! Por dos votos contra uno, el consejo escolar afirma que este momento es conmovedor Ten tu corona, Bill ¡Gracias! ¿Y? Mi primera obra como reina del baile será renunciar y coronar a mis comprensivos y asombrosos padres. ¿Oíste, cariño? ¡Somos reinas del baile! ¡Creo que esta fiesta necesita buena música! Ah, ¡Amo los bailes escolares! ¡La música, los vestidos! ¡Ven! ¡Baila conmigo! ¡Bailar es para arañas! ¡Oh, un baile! ¡Ni en sueño! ¡Ya es tarde! Vamos a repasar los parlamentos de la pastorela ¿No podemos hacer eso más al ratito? ¿Más al ratito? ¿Por qué? Porque todavía no nos lo sabemos ¡Eso no es posible! ¡Claro que es posible! Ya van varias veces que los leen en voz alta Y cuando intentan decirlos de memoria <risa> No les sale nada Tienen 10 minutos para aprenderse los parlamentos de la pastorela Profesor con todo respeto, digo, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué mejor ya no hacen nada de pastorela? No van a alcanzar a aprenderse nada y van a terminar haciendo el ridículo. Lamentablemente creo que esta vez tiene usted toda la razón, don Ramón. Tendré que cancelar la presentación de la pastorela. ¡Mire esto, profesor Girafales! No te pierdas hoy en la noche al gran Kiko en la pastorela de la vecindad. ¿No le parece un cartel de publicidad maravilloso? Pues, sí Menos mal que no ha pegado este cartel de invitación al público Este todavía no, porque lo voy a conservar como recuerdo de la gran actuación de mi tesoro Pero todos los alrededores ya están tapizados con cientos de carteles como este Con la hermosa foto de Kiko No puede ser Nunca nos vamos a poder aprender el libreto y no tenemos dos frases, ni escenografía, ni hotelería, ni desayuno. Ah, oh, pues es que yo tengo hambre. Oh. Chavo. Hola. ¿Y 
Estos son mis amigos los vagabundos ¿Ellos son tus amigos? Sí, este es Ñoño El de los cachetotes es Kiko La flaca es Popis Este es Godínez Y la bonita es Pati Los fuimos a buscar Y solo apareció el chavo con el árbol de Navidad <risa> Es que nuestra característica principal Es vagabundear por todo el mundo Por eso nunca nos quedamos mucho tiempo En un mismo lugar ¿Qué tienes en las manos, chavo? La pastorela que todavía no nos hemos podido aprender ¿Van a representarla? Sí, y eso que tampoco hemos conseguido el vestuario para salir de pastorcitos Ni de diablitos, vengan a ver dónde está el escenario Les vamos a dar algo de vestuario Podemos ayudar a ensayar para que todo le salga bien. Se me hace que no va a alcanzar. Ni modo, fue lo único que pudimos juntar. ¿Qué se le va a hacer? Aquí sí ganan los buenos. Están en Belén con el niño Jesús y Chapulín Colorado. Esta pastorela se ha con ese cuento, chavo? ¡No es cuento! Pues si no es cuento, de todas maneras no va a alcanzar la cena para invitar a esos vagabundos. ¡Hay muy poquita comida! Pero es que ellos nos ayudaron con todo. Tienes razón, chavo. Donde comen dos, comen tres. Invita a cenar a tus amigos los vagabundos. Antes de ser sus amigos imaginarios. 